Now to the latest on the pandemic. With the Omicron variant spreading and New York breaking yet another record for people testing positive, Governor Hochul unveils what she's calling her winter surge plan 2.0. It involves more rapid testing, sending dozens of new ambulance teams to New York City, and a dramatic plea for people to get vaccinated. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has the story tonight. With the Omicron-driven COVID surge continuing unabated, 76,555 new cases and a 22.5% positivity rate. We're breaking records every day. Governor Kathy Hochul makes a dramatic plea for New Yorkers to get vaccinated and boosted as the best way to avoid the worst effects of the disease and to avoid hospitalization. She says most of the COVID patients in New York hospitals are unvaccinated. 30 per 100,000. Cases are unvaxxed compared with 2.1 who are vaccinated. If you are vaccinated, you have a very low chance of being hospitalized. The governor and health commissioner, Dr. Mary Bassett, also pleaded with parents to get their kids vaccinated due to a rise in children being hospitalized. The week of December 5th, there were 70 kids that had to be hospitalized. This week so far, there have been 299. We have too many children under the uh, age of 12 who are eligible for vaccination who aren't vaccinated. The governor's winter surge 2.0 plan includes extending the mask or vax requirements for businesses for two weeks until February 1st, requiring CUNY and SUNY students to get booster shots before returning for the spring semester, sending 37 million rapid testing kits to schools so they can stay open, distribute 5 million KN95 masks, a new program to train National Guard members as EMTs, and sending 50 FEMA ambulance teams to New New York City to augment EMS, which has been depleted by illness. As part of her plea to get people vaccinated and boosted, the governor enlisted a wide range of elected officials, including Senator Chuck Schumer and Mayor-elect Eric Adams, to make video testimonials. But Congressman Tom Suozzi, who's running against Hochul for governor, said the plan falls far short. We need to be marketing boosters every day through TV commercials across the state from hospitals and doctors, not politicians, Suozzi said. Swazi said the state needs to ramp up testing sites, including drive throughs The governor said there are 1,800 test sites in the state, 13 more opening this week, six more next week. In the newsroom, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.